Hello all, and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say your customary blessing. Blessed art thou, donor of the new king of the universe, who is sanctified with his commandments, commanded us, and grossed us with the words of Torah. Please, O donor, let him speak the words of your Torah in our mouths, and the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Excuse <coughs> me. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. Uh, sorry. May Adonai bless you, keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you, you may be kind to you. May Adonai bless your favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a woman conceives and bears a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. As at the same time of her menstruation, she shall be unclean. And on the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. Then she shall continue for thirty-three days in the blood of her purifying. She shall not touch anything holy nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying are completed. <coughs> Excuse me. But if she bears a female child, then she shall be unclean two weeks. As in her menstruation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying for sixty-six days. And when the days of her, of her purifying are completed, whether for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting a lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, and a pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering, and he shall offer it before Yahweh and make atonement for it. Then she shall be clean from the flow of her blood. This is the law for her, for her who bears a child, either male or female. And if she cannot offer a lamb, then she shall take two turtle doves or two pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for her, and she shall be clean. Yahweh spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When a person has on the skin of his body a swelling or an eruption or a spot, and it turns into a case of leprous disease on the skin of his body, then he shall be brought to Aaron the priest, or to one of his sons <coughs> the priest, and the priest shall examine the diseased area on the skin of his body. And if the hair in the diseased area has turned white, and the disease appears to be deeper than the skin of the body, it is a case of leprous disease. When the priest has examined him, he shall pronounce him unclean. But if the spot is white in the skin of his body and appears no deeper than the skin and the hair in it has not turned white, the priest shall shut up the diseased person for seven days, and the priest shall examine him on the seventh day. And if in his eyes the disease is checked and the disease has not spread in the skin, then the priest shall shut him up for another seven days, and the priest shall examine him again on the seventh day. And if the disease area has faded, and the disease has not spread in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is only an eruption. And he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the eruption spreads in the skin, after he has shown himself to the priest for his cleansing, he shall appear again before the priest, and the priest shall look. And if the eruption has spread in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a leprous disease. <coughs> Excuse me. When a man is afflicted with leprous disease, he shall be brought to the priest, and the priest shall look. And if there is a white swelling in the skin that has turned the hair white, and there is raw flesh in the swelling, it is a chronic leprous disease in the skin of his body, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean. He shall not shut him up. For he is unclean, and if the leprous disease breaks out on the skin, so that the leprous disease covers all the skin of the diseased person from head to foot, so far as the priest can see, then the priest shall look, and if the leprous disease has covered all his body, he shall be pronounced him pronounce him clean of the disease that has turned white, and he is clean. But when Raw flesh appears on him, he shall be unclean, and the priest shall examine the raw flesh and pronounce him unclean. Raw flesh is unclean, for it is a leprous disease. But if the raw flesh recovers and turns white again, 
Then he shall come to the priest, and the priest shall examine him. And if the disease has turned white, then the priest shall pronounce the diseased person clean. He is clean. If there is in the skin of one's body a boil and it heals, and in the place of boil there comes a white swelling or a reddish white spot, then it sh shall be shown to the priest. The priest shall look, and if it appears deeper than the skin and its hair has turned white, the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a case of leprous disease that is broken out in the boil. But if the priest examines it and there is no white hair in it, and it is not deeper than the skin, but has faded, then the priest shall shut him up seven days. And if the, it spreads in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce it unclean. It is, is, it is a disease. But if the spot remains in place, in one place and does not spread, it is the scar of the boil, and the priest shall pronounce him clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm not feeling good today. So, but when the body has a burn on its skin and the raw flesh of the burn becomes a spot, reddish white or white, the priest shall examine it. And if the hair in the spot has turned white and it appears deeper than the skin, it is a leprous disease. It has broken out in the burn. And the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a case of leprous disease. But if the priest examines it and has no white hair in the spot and it is no deeper than the skin but has faded, the priest shall shut him up seven days. And the priest shall examine him on the seventh day. And if it, if it is spreading in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a case of leprous disease. But if the spot remains in one place and does not spread in the skin but has faded, it is a swelling from the burn. And the priest shall pronounce him clean, for it is the scar of the burn. When a man or woman has a, disease, it has a disease on the head or beard, the priest shall examine the disease, and if it appears deeper than the skin, and the hair in it is yellow and thin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is an itch, a leprous disease of the hair or beard. And if the priest examines the itching disease, and it appears no deeper than the skin, and there is no black hair in it, then the priest shall shut up the person with the itching disease for seven days. And on the seventh day, the priest shall examine the disease. If the itch has not spread and there is no yellow hair, and the itch appears no deeper than the skin, he shall shave himself. But the itch he shall not shave. And the priest shall shut up the person with the itching disease for another seven days. And on the seventh day, the priest shall examine the itch. If the itch has not spread in the skin, it appears no, to be no deeper <coughs> than the skin. Then the priest shall pronounce him clean, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But the itch spreads in the skin after his cleansing, then the priest shall examine him. And if the itch has spread in the skin, the priest need not seek for the yellow hair. He is unclean. But if in his eyes the itch is unchanged, and the black hair has grown in it, the itch is healed, and he is clean. And the priest shall pronounce him clean. When a man or woman has spots on the skin of the body, white spots, the priest shall look. And if the spots on the skin or body are of a dull white, it is leucoderma that has broken out on the skin. He is clean. If a man's hair falls out from his head, he is, bald. he is bald. He is clean. If a man's hair falls out from his forehead, he has baldness of the forehead. He is clean. But if there is... On the bald head or bald forehead, a reddish white disease area, it is a leprous disease breaking out on his bald head or his bald forehead. Then the priest shall examine him, and if the disease disease swelling is reddish white on his head or on his bald head or on his bald forehead, like the appearance of leprous disease in the skin of the body, he is a leprous man. He is unclean. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. He is his disease is on his head. The leprous person who has a disease shall wear torn clothes and let the hair of his head hang loose. And he shall cover up his lip and cry out, so unclean, unclean. He shall remain unclean as long as he has the disease. He is unclean. He shall live alone. His dwelling shall be outside the camp. When there is a case of leprous disease in the garment, whether a woolen or linen garment, in wrap or woof of linen or wool, or in a skin of anything made of skin. If the disease is greenish or reddish in the garment, or in the skin, or in the wrap of the woof, 
or in any article made of skin, it is the case of leprous disease, and it shall be shown to the priests, and the priest shall examine the disease, and shut up that which has the disease for seven days. Then he shall examine the disease on the seventh day, if the disease has spread in the garment, or in the, in the warp, or the woof, or in the skin, whatever be the use of the skin, the disease is a persistent leprous disease that is unclean, and shall burn the garment. Or the warp, or the wolf, or the wool, or the linen, or any article made of skin that is diseased, for it is a persistent leprous disease, it shall be burned. And if the priest examines, and if the disease has not spread in the garment, in the warp, or in the wolf, or in any article made of skin, then the priest shall command that they wash the thing in which is the disease, and he shall shut it up for another seven days. And the priest shall examine the diseased thing after it has been washed, and if the appearance of the disease area has not changed, though the disease has not spread, it is unclean, you shall burn it in the fire, whether the rod is on the back or on the front. But if the priest examines, and if the disease area has faded after it has been washed, he shall tear it out of the garment or the skin or the warp or the wolf, then if it appears again in the garment, in the warp, or the wolf, or any garment made of skin, or article made of skin, it is spreading. You shall burn with fire whatever has disease, but the garment of the warp, or the wolf, or any article made of skin, from which the disease departs when you have washed it, shall be washed a second time and be clean. This is the law for the case of leprous disease in a garment of wool or linen, whether in the warp or the wolf, or in any article made of skin, to determine whether it is clean or unclean. <laughs> Blessed art thou, Adonai, the King of the Universe, who has gave us a Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukuta, Adonai, Elihini, Malak, Halo, Mashana, Tan, Lanu, Tredi, Me, Vaisi, Lom, Natabetikanu, Brukuta, Adonai, Natin, Hatara. Well, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.